Hey everyone, I am sitting down today making a cane in just classic black and white and I leave for work in about an hour. So I'm going to make this really quick and I thought I would record this because it's good for me because then I remember what I did when I want to make it again. But I thought I would share this one with you guys. So what I have is just black and white. I have two stacks of stripes. One of these I'm going to make into a checkerboard. Um, I have this right here which I am attempting to make a bullseye cane with this. So all of these are done on a number one. I haven't made anything thinner or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and assemble it. And then I'll show you what we're going to do. We're not making a kaleidoscope cane, although this really looks good as a kaleidoscope cane. And that's something that I always make. But this time I just want to make the little components and turn that into a nice little design instead of cutting it and cutting it and cutting it because I don't think I have the time. So I may end up making another one of these or using just half of this for a project that I have. And then I will use the other half as a kaleidoscope cane, which I'll show you how to do in another video. But right now we're just making a bullseye cane. And I know that center piece is a little bigger than I wanted to do. That's okay. So I cut everything out before I started the video just to save a little bit of time. Mm, let's cut that just a little bit. Stretch him a little bit. Okay, and this should be the last one. Oh, I hope I have enough. Oh, I just about did it. Um, that doesn't happen very often. Okay. All right, so now I have a bullseye cane. And then I'm going to make another one. And this is going to be a spiral cane. I accidentally cut a little bit off of that. So I'm going to go like that. And again, these were cut at a number one. I was thinking about making the white a little smaller and then changed my mind. Okay, so we're just going to roll that up nice. Now you can take a strip of black and that way It'll extend farther than the white, which is probably what I should have done when I started it. But that's okay, because you can always add it again. I'm just going to take a strip like that. I think that was like one and a half inches. I might do it this way. I don't need that much, so just a little piece to extend at the end. And then I will cut that in a minute. So I'm just going to add it. There we go. When you cut, make sure you cut with the sharp side of your blade, not the dull side. All right, so there we go. All right, so now we're going to roll this out. I just want two of these. And 
I'll probably do three of those. So go ahead and get this to about, um, I'm probably going to go two inches if I can. No, actually I'm going to go three inches, do one and a half. That's the size that I usually work with. I don't know, just basically reducing it, getting rid of some of the air bubbles that are in there. Out here today, we've got some really horrible winds. We have beautiful hot, hot weather in the 100 degree mark, and and then today it's just all turned and got really cold and nasty outside. So I understand June gloom, and it's definitely here. I wonder if I can make this four inches. I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. I like to pull on the cane like that, just stretch it. So we're almost at three. I'm going to try and go one more inch. Almost there. Let's see. Oh, we need a little more. Not really worried about my ends because at the end I always cut it off anyways. So there we go, about four inches. So I just need two of those. Okay, so there you go with your spiral cane. I'm gonna set those aside, set the scrap aside. And now on the bullseye, I want to do about three of them. And I have my end savers from Teresa Salgado at Tiny Pandora. These things are really great. Um, if you can afford to get them, they're wonderful. If not, you know, I've used quarters and half dollars on my canes. You know, I just set them on there. It doesn't stick all that great, but it does stick. And it helps out. But I waited for a long time and finally said I've had it. I'm ordering me some of these, so I did. And it's made a difference. It comes in two sizes, so I've got these size circles, and then there's a two-inch circle, I think. And it comes with um, four of the square as well. Um, I normally work with square canes, and so these get used a lot. And I have no idea where my round ones are, but I'm sure they will 
come up somewhere. I'm looking everywhere over here and I don't see them, which means that I've used them and probably washed it. So if those are two inches, that means we need to take this to six. So this might take me a couple of minutes to do, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and I'll come back when I get really close. Alrighty, so we're almost here now. Try and save as much as I can here because I really hate waste. Okay, so I'm just going to cut right here, but I'm going to try and push that back in just a little bit. So I like to get them all the same size. And that's going to have to end about there anyways. So now we probably are at six inches perfectly. All right. So some of these may be just a tad bigger. That's okay. Once it all gets squished together, it's not going to matter a whole lot. So we can go two. Okay, so now we have our bullseye. The center's a little bigger than I wanted, but that's okay. All right, so now we're going to make this into two inch strips. Actually, let me do the checkerboard first, and I am not a checkerboard fan, and I don't know why. But I just have a really hard time making that perfectly square checkerboard. So I'm going to just cut it all anyways. I normally don't cut all four sides, just two. All right, so I have my little market tool. And I just got to figure out how many slices I want this at. I can do four slices. You know what? I am. So I'm just going to lay that right there on the end. Okay, and then we know exactly where to cut. I'll go straight down here. I don't know why this blade is struggling. It's a new blade. Let me grab another one really quick. And this one's a little dirty. Hopefully this goes down a little better. It could be my clay might just be a little soft, which is probably what it is because this is having a problem too. Okay, <clears throat> so there are my stripes. See, and even my stripes, this is why I have a problem with depth perception. And they end up being little like triangles instead of little squares. So, not sure how these are going to turn out. But for me, these are the worst to make because I'm just horrible at it. I mean, you're looking at it from above, and I bet you're saying well, that doesn't look like a checkerboard, because it doesn't. 
My checkerboards never do. But maybe now if I squish them down into kind of a square and then maybe cut them in fours, I might be able to get away with it. We'll see. Now, if I were to do that again, I think the next time I would do this. And then put those little pieces together like that. See, it's still, it just still doesn't seem like it works for me. So, I don't know. It's going to be a funky checkerboard. I already got that point. Uh, I'm not going to really worry about it. If you're great at making checkerboards, I salute you. Because again, I just have a hard time making them. Yeah, I just don't like it. But we're going to use it anyways because it's going to look good in the final piece anyways. So it's not that big of a concern. But it would be really nice if I can make them more square. I'm not quite sure how to do that though. Maybe I just need, I don't know, maybe you just cut it at like the smallest. I don't know. It's just getting one side and the other side to be perfectly square. But it's okay. So the reason I'm doing this is I just want to go ahead and go to four pieces and then that will probably make it look a little bit more square than what I'm doing as long as I don't distort it I'm just afraid that I may end up making it smaller than I want I don't want to do that um, it's kind of like um a fun house so maybe I will just leave it alone okay so we are we're gonna just go to two inches and we're gonna leave it alone because it's gonna get all funky when you're working with it anyways so I'm going to go ahead and just Flatten it a little better. Get it a nice little square shape. Sometimes that's tough for me to do too. So I use these, these cane. I don't know what these things are called, but they're great for the bracelets. For And you can cut the strips to make a bracelet. Which is the reason I bought it. So if I can get these same size, so they make great tools to make sure that you've got, you know, pretty much even. So I'm going to cut it right there on that. And that just needs to be brought in a little more. And there you go. Okay, so if I'm a little bigger than two inches, it would be fantastic. Okay, so hopefully we're at two. We are. Yep, not the best checkerboard, but it is what it is. Okay, so now we're just going to get this to about two inches now. And I am probably going to roll this. Let me start putting some of this stuff away. Okay, so what we want is we want this about two inches.
So these are about two inches. And that's how long, because I'm going to wrap some of these. But I'm not quite sure what side I want. Hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. So about two inches like that. Okay, so if we can make that about two inches wide and two inches across, we might be okay. Stack this. Hmm. We're going to stack this up. Probably about right there. Okay. Okay, let me do this and I'll be back. Okay, so we're back and we've got our little strip here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a triangle on one of these ends. So, I'm just going to bring it up like this. Okay, we're going to flatten it. Okay. I'm going to make it a hard, a really hard. Okay. Same with this, just going to take this piece that's up and we're going to just do that. I don't want to go too long. Okay. I want my I want my edges to be sharp though, so I'm going to kind of push it around a little bit. There we go. Like that. Okay, so there we go. That's what I want. Oops, and you don't drop them on the ground. Things get away from me really quick. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to put them together. So this one we're going to make... Um, I might cut this in half. Like that. Okay, we're going to make that 
to a little square like that. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna have to make this into a two inch piece now. Oh hey. And I could try. Oh, hey, I can't believe I did that. I got what I wanted to get, but I didn't want it to like that. Sometimes your mind tells you to go one way and you end up doing it a completely different way. That's okay, again. I really don't want to use this because I don't want to distort it. But since I have to leave for work in about an hour, I probably should just finish this up. So... I'm going to use this just to help stretch it a little easier. Okay. <clears throat> I still want this two inches wide, too. So we're almost there. Okay. So, all right, I'm going to try this now. So. All right, so we're going to put these two ends together. I'm trying to figure out which ends I like together the most. I really like this too, I think. Even though it's going the other way, maybe I can put that down. All right, we're gonna do that. It really doesn't matter, you know, what ends you put together. Okay, and then we're gonna take a strip of this. We don't need a real thick one, okay? Okay, I'm gonna just kind of bring this out a little more. All right, so let's take you I'm going to take a bullseye cane and I'm going to set him right there and I'm going to lay it just on the end right here and then we're just going to kind of carry it over. doesn't have to go too far, just kind of giving a little bit of pattern to it. Okay. And then we're going to go another one right next to it. Okay, and that can butt against that. And let's do another pattern over that one. Actually, we went this a little longer, didn't we? Okay. So we're going to go about, about right there. Looks a little different. That's okay. Okay, so it's just butting against that end, and that can come down like right here. Okay. Just trying to make like a square. So any way that you can fit this is perfectly fine. Wow, these got really long. So we're going to kind of push it in a little bit. 
or we're just going to take off the end piece right here. There we go. So there we go. So that should make your square. All right. And then we have one more of these here. I can put that right in the middle. And then I'll just put a real thick piece from here to here. So it's not quite. All right. Let's get this a little wider here. I might do a little strip. All right. So I want a thick piece for up on top. Okay. But. A little bit more. To end it the white. All right, instead of doing that, I'm just going to push this in like that because I want this the end, right? Okay, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to take this piece, which is our last piece. And we're going to butt it all the way up against square piece okay so that's basically it and now we're just going to shape it into a square so it gives you a little bit of different elements you can just toss it all together now again you can use this just as it is which I may just use half this was kind of one of the first things that I learned how to make and I don't remember who taught me it But I love making canes and kaleidoscope, they're fun. But I really want to start learning how to do master canes. And I'm not very versed in that. And I'm horrible at color. I mean, I know how to match colors. I mean, I don't go out of the house I'll unmatch, but it's just blending colors together. I got the idea, but then if you blend this with this, sometimes you get. You know something you don't want and it turns muddy and stuff like that I know color theory I have an art degree but when you sit down to actually do it is when I just have such a hard time so I'm gonna take this to probably three inches and then I will take that one and a half inch and I will probably take that to four inches just to show you what this is like if you keep going and reducing it more it looks pretty cool but you still lose a lot of your pattern because of the fact that you're going so much smaller so this So I got about 20 more minutes to work on this. So we're at three inches now. And even if I were to make this into something, I wouldn't use my pieces this big anyways. So guess what? I'll go a little longer anyways. Okay. 
guys. So let's go one more inch and then I'm just going to cut it in half and set half of it aside. Uh, I need a wider one. These are also from Tiny Pandora and they come in, I think, a quarter inch. No, they come half an inch, an inch, an inch and a half, and maybe two inches. I think this is the biggest. So it comes in one quarter. So maybe it's... I think I have them here. I don't have my little, little one, but there is one smaller than this. So this is three quarters. So it's a half an inch, three quarter, an inch, and an inch and a quarter. I just bought these from her too. Um, I haven't taken the acrylic off yet, but she makes like the imitation paper beads. So I really want a nice kaleidoscope cane so that I can go ahead and try that. Um, and unfortunately, I just have not had the time to do any of that. So I mainly work with glass. That's my full-time gig. And then I have a part-time job at a craft store because I need to get out of the house for a few hours or I will sit here and talk to my animals all day long. My family laughs at me for that. So I got out a couple years ago just for the Christmas holiday. Um, they asked me to stay and I did. But I think this is probably going to be my last year because I hate retail. I honestly do. Um, I've worked it before. But I was lucky I worked in a vault. So I did pretty much counted money every day. Made deposits, answered phones. So that kind of made it nice. I am a people person. I don't have a problem with the public. But I have problems with thieves. And in retail you see a lot of theft. And um, I just can't deal with it without being able to do anything about it. So it's time. I used to work in the emergency room of a hospital. And I got out of that just because I got tired of death and just needed a break. I don't know if I'll go back. I'm still credentialed and all that, just in case. But I don't know if I go back or not. It's something that I probably really need to make a decision about. Okay, so now I'm pulling out my little thingamajiggers. I'm so sorry, I don't know what these are called. Um, I will try and figure it out and then put a link on there for you. I just call them my, my cane straighteners. But actually, if you go to tinypandora.com, um, look for where she sells her... She'll sell these like metal inserts or these metal things for the bracelets for like bangles. Um, and then you can go ahead and find them on that page because they should be together. Because they match the width of each one. And on those, I bought the small and the large. Alright, so one, two, three, four. I think I'm at four inches. So I'm just going to squish it down just a little bit longer. And I'll pull off one of the ends just on one side, not both. Yeah, so this one's got paint on it. Or raw clay that it's sat in or something. I have no idea where that came from. I'm not a neat worker. I'm not very organized. Although behind me is where I make glass beads. And right now that workstation is completely clean. So. I have my days. Okay. So now we're just going to cut one side. Well, actually, we're just going to cut it in half, right? 
So we're about four. Right. So let's go ahead and cut this down the middle. That's the sharp end of the blade too. So there you go. So that's your cane. And just use this on like, oh my gosh, you know, you cut a bunch of strips. Use it on um, <clears throat> backwards. You can put the pattern like that and the pattern like that and just make that and use it on a necklace or earrings. This would be really pretty. Now what I was telling you before was I like to... You know add it together so think about that one that would look so good as a kaleidoscope cane but then again then you've got all of this next to each other and I'd rather have it separated so you could also do that and do that okay and then backwards in that and that way it's separated and that's probably actually what I'm gonna do is I don't think I'm going to use it like this. I think I'm going to put all four of them together. Because I like that. And actually I could do that now. But then it's only going to give me an inch to work on. And that's just too small. You know. So then cut this again. And put this in the center right here. I don't know. I don't know how to put it together. But I like that. I like that idea. Because you could use it just like this um, and then cut the strips. But I might as well just cut the or make it smaller and cut the strips as I do it. So that's it. I hope you like it. It's a little different. Um, but it's fun. And everybody loves black and white. So I will probably make another video when I'm done with this. Show you what it looks like. And then maybe make some jewelry with it and show you what that looks like so we'll have a great day and we'll talk to you later